stopping by. Today I'm going to take you on a tour slash update of all the plants that I've got in my family room. Um, it's a relaxing, it's actually snowing outside Sunday and so this is one of my best Sunday outfits. I hope you like it. Okay, let's do it. So here's a view of what the whole room looks like. This is the south wall and then we've got two east windows small east windows, um, a lot of north windows, pretty big. Uh, there's the east wall over here, and then over here, and then that is the south, only south window we have at the moment. And then if you come around here, this is our bathroom slash dog grooming room and then um, over here if um, you just go up to the stair up the stairs to get into the rest of our house so we'll start here because this is probably where the biggest cluster of plants are um, down here is the monstera that I just got on the road trip it's looking good I really like the pot that that one's in um, next to that is what I thought was a majesty fern and now I'm not quite so sure that is what it was labeled but other people have told me it's not and so I don't know what do you guys think um, I was told the majesty fern sprawls out more at the root base instead of coming all up the center so, but this one is kind of starting to sprawl out, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, and then down there, that is a sad little plant. This is the um, Fabian Aurelia. I kind of moved this one all over and it didn't like any spots, so I just barely moved it here by this south window, and I hope it'll perk up. Um, it actually loses leaves, but then it grows new ones. So I really don't know what this guy's doing, but he doesn't have any bugs or anything like that. So we'll see what happens. Okay, next to that is the Hoya Chelsea. She's a beaut and she doesn't, she's not demanding at all. I had her in front of a north window and just, um, I had to rearrange stuff for some new plants, so I moved her over here in front of this south window, and she should like that. Um, up above that is the Polia peperomoides. That one's doing great. Um, it's getting a lot of new leaves. I need to look into this because they're kind of getting a little wonky, but I think she's healthy. I make sure to rotate her every couple days so she's not ski wampus. Okay, next to that I've got a bunch of cacti. I got this pot of them and I've got this pot of them. So I couldn't begin to tell you all the names. I know this one's Eve's Needle and this one's um, Fairy Castle. And the other ones I have no idea. I think this one might be called Old Man Cactus or something. And you know, I had it somewhere else and I thought it was doing good, but someone said it's actually growing all these because it's, it's called etiolation. And it basically means it wasn't getting enough sun where it was at. So hopefully it'll like it better over here in this south window. Um, next to that is my string of pearls. She's doing great. That's another one you ignore. Hardly ever water her. And then uh, Bird of Paradise. I got that from Linda May. I think she's doing pretty good, Linda. Um, she's getting, she's gotten it. This is a new leaf right here and then she's getting a new one there. And that was during the winter, so I'm sure she's gonna grow a ton this summer. Um, right there in the middle is the uh, Fatsia japonica. That one got done flowering. It got this big round 
um, flower with all these little tiny orange blooms on it. And I just cut that off. So it's just got the one leaf right now and then it's growing a new leaf right here. So, okay, these are both Kalanchoe's and they're both white. And then over here is, this is that shamrock oxalis succulent or the shamrock succulent that I got from Groovy Plants Ranch in the, uh, not that long ago. This thing has grown a ton. And all those little clovers are adorable. And then down below that, this is the crown of thorns. He always lays on his side. I've tried to put him straight probably three or four times and he just always ends up, he's just kind of lazy like that, but it's okay. Um, he didn't like it too much over where I had him. I don't think there was enough light. So I just recently moved him back here. And then next to that is um, this Euphorbia cactus. It The variety is Euphorbia, something that starts with a P. I'll have to put it in here. Okay, and then right here is the Hoya bilobata. That's a really easy plant and pretty. She was in my room, but she didn't get a lot of sun, so I moved her out here a while ago. She seems to like it. Um, I've got little jars of water setting everywhere for humidity all around the house. Um, next to that is the Hoya Comungiana. I got that one pretty recently and it hasn't really done anything yet, but um, it's not, it looks healthy. So I think we are good. Okay, and then next to that is my Hoya tricolor, which is probably one of my favorite plants. I love how thick the leaves are on this one. It's getting some new babies, so cute. And I love the whiteness of some of the leaves. Look at that butte right there. Oh, whoops, so pretty. Okay, up above, I've got my neon pothos. That's a great plant. It's a great color. It grows like crazy. I've taken a lot of cuttings off of that and it's still got a lot going on. So next to that is the Lickety Split Philodendron. I had to cut a lot off of him because I think I had him in a spot he didn't like. Um, and he's kind of odd, but I like him. Most Lickety Split Philodendrons that I see are growing straight up. But this guy just likes to let it all hang out. And then next to that is the amaryllis that I just cut the flower off. Sharon, it's getting um, brown on the ends. Do you know why? Maybe I need to water it more? Not sure. And then over here is my purple heart trandiscantia. That is such a pretty plant. Look how it cascades down the side of this shelf. I love it. And it does have some of the intense purple leaves in it, but it also has a lot of sage green in it. And I just think it's so pretty. Next to that is the Hoya carnosa, easy plant. And above that is the Hoya obovatum. Okay, over here I've got a couple of golden pothos growing in some vials that are hanging on the wall. Down here I've got my bougainvillea. Um, that one really hasn't done anything, but it looks healthy. And as soon as I get that south window in there, I'm going to have it like trellis around the window. So it'll be cute. Okay, and then here on my table, I've got a donkey's tail, burrow's tail. Uh, next to that is a Chris Christmas cactus. Um, this one was given to me by a very nice lady named Sharon. And it's uh, the orange. It's an orange variety. You can't tell because the last flower just dried up. But yeah, it's an orange like a dark orange Christmas cactus. 
And then next to that is an aloe. Over here by my couch, I've got an agave, a striped one. It's really cute. I forgot the name of this one too, but it's getting a new leaf there in the middle and a leaf in the middle of that. So that one's doing good. And when I brought this one home, we noticed that it had um, scale on it. So I just doused it with um, dish soap. Like I literally just poured dish soap on the leaves and I like rubbed it with my hands and then I squirted it off. And then I um, sprayed it really good with rubbing alcohol and let it sit for a bit and then I cleaned that off. So, and it's good now. Over here on the coffee table, we've got the Medusa's head. I flip and love this plant. Makes a nice centerpiece for the coffee table. Okay, over here, we've got the Hoya Sangii. That one's looking good. Um, I haven't seen much growth on it. I just watered it yesterday because you see the leaves, how they look kind of dimply. And then up above that, I've got the Hoya Weyetii. Um, right now, this one isn't in enough light, but when I get that south window, things are going to change. So he just needs to hang out here for a little bit until I can get that set up for him. Um, next to that is the Blue Star Fern. She is a pretty thing. Look at the color of these leaves. Oh, I love it. And the shape. And then next to that, which needs water, this is how you tell when they need water. <laughs> this is the um, variegated peace lily. And it, she's actually got a flower on her. She's really thirsty. I'll get her watered after this. And then next to that is the ponytail palm, which is a great plant, you guys. You can put it anywhere, and I do. And it never complains, not once. Next to that is the neon philodendron, or the lemon lime philodendron, whatever you wanna call it. That's probably one of my favorite plants too. It's hard to believe me when I say that about all of them, huh? But it really is, look how pretty. And so easy. See all these new leaves coming on everywhere. And then down here is the Peperomia um, Rosso. This one, the leaves, the leaves, <laughs> the leaves have faded out kind of. So I think it was getting too much sun. But it is growing new leaves in that. You can see them in there, so. I don't know. I think it's healthy. It's just not colored exactly how I would want it to be. And then hanging up there, I've moved my philodendron micans. She's definitely one of my favorites. And she deserved a real pot. She looks so good in there. And she's doing great. She's growing all kinds of new stuff on her. She definitely likes it where it's warm and she likes to be close to the ceiling, I've noticed. And then over here, this is a snake plant. That one's doing great. Um, we got this one in the winter as well. And all the pieces were about the height of this one or those ones over there. And look how tall this one is now. So gosh, if they're happy where they are, they grow pretty fast. And then down here is the ZZ plant, which is so dusty. Holy cow, I've got to dust this poor little thing off. So it, I don't even know if it can breathe, but it doesn't complain. So that's another great plant. All right, and then up here in one of the west windows, sorry about the light, but um, here's the Hindu rope. And then there's the string of hearts, the variegated one. She's a pretty little thing. Uh, the David Kamungian, or David Kamungii still hasn't done anything. 
and it looks like it needs some water, so I better get it. The, what's this one called? Shepardii. The Shepardii, pretty much the same, but if you look close, it's getting some new growths on it. Okay. Uh, my Hoya Finlaysonii, that one's getting a new leaf on it. Isn't it cute? And then the Hoya Australis Tenuipes, or whatever, however you say it. That one's doing good. It's gotten like two new leaves on it and it's fixing to do another one. So, okay. And then next to that is the, this is the string of hearts that I got just recently. All those long things are new. It didn't have any of that when I got it. It was just the part in the middle. So I think it's pretty happy. Okay. Up here on the mantle, we've got the two Monstera Perus on the edge. Like I'm hoping, I'm gonna be doing a video on how to make moss poles, and I'm gonna train these to grow up, and hopefully around that window up there. I think it'll be so cute. Um, and then I've got a, this is a true yellow Schlumbergera. I've got a coral colored spring cactus, uh, the moonshine snake plant. That's such a pretty one. Love the color on that. And then a red schlumbergera. And then down here next to the fireplace is my other snake plant, my other big snake plant. Okay, and then over here in the other west window, I just moved the Hoya odorata. Uh, we'll see. I've gotten a few brown leaves on that one, so I don't know. Hopefully it's happier over here. This is the dinner plate Hoya. And I really wondered if this was dead. <laughs> but do you see that new little growth it's getting right there? And then next to that is the Hoya um, Iris Marie. That one's doing good. I haven't really seen any growth on it yet, but I haven't seen any bad things on it either. Okay, next to that I've got another Monstera. Okay, and then up here we've got the Hoya Matilda. That one's doing good. Um, another Chinese Evergreen. Can't remember the variety on that one. And then behind there is a fiddle leaf fig, a parlor palm in the very back. And then over there is an upright lemon lime pothos. We've got a golden pothos right here and a um, creeping Charlie. And then right in the middle there, this one is a Sin Adenium. That one is growing like crazy. And then up above that is the Gloria Spire plant. It's the green variety and it's starting to flower. Over here by the north windows, I've got, this is a green emerald philodendron erubescens. Um, I'm gonna be putting moss poles up here so that they'll grow around these windows as well. So I've got one on the other end of the windows that I'll show you. This is a great plant. If you get a chance to get one of these, you definitely should if you have a lot of space because they grow like crazy. Up above here, I've got a string of pearl or teardrops, the Prince of Orange, and hopefully he'll like it there. I just moved him. And then right here is the Ficus Ali. That one's growing a ton. I've got a lot of starts in the process for the shop of this one. Um, I'm probably going to have a ton of this plant because it grows so fast and I don't want it to totally take over this whole room. So uh, up above that, I've got the Peperomia Hoffmanii can kind of see it there. Okay, hopefully that'll fill in. 
Okay, over here, this is where I've put the Begonia Maculata Whitey Eye. Hopefully she likes it in front of this north window. Um, she's kind of shaded by both of these trees that are next to her. But she still gets some sunlight. And I've got the uh, humidifier right there. So um, Next to her is a fiddly fig. I like this version where they've been trained into a tree. Because to me, like, fiddly figs are kind of awkward and hard to put places, you know? They only fit in certain places, but this one's good, so. And then down here is ah, Gloria. She is so pretty. I think she's doing really good. She does have, um, like her leaves a little bit yellow on the outside of this one, but I think it's okay. She, I think she was like that when I got her. I'll have to go back and look at the video. But another indication that she's good is that she's got a new leaf coming up right here. And then right up here, I've got a Peperomia prostrata. That one's doing good. They like it by the, they like north light a lot. Pe all the Peperomias I have do. And then over here, We've got the, sorry about the light, but this is just a string of bananas that came from Linda May. It's gotten so long. Yesterday I just stuck a bunch of it up in the top there. And then down here in the other corner is the Philodendron Aribescens, the um, emerald gem. So obviously the difference between the two is this one has the bright red stems in it really pretty they both grow like crazy but probably the green one grows even crazier than this one does so great plants okay up there at the very top of the east wall is a philodendron or not a philodendron a hoya publicalix over here on the computer i've got the syndapsis pictus agriarius or something like that uh, there's two varieties of these. One's more silvery, and I've got the more green variety. I like on this variety how they're all outlined with the silver and just have the little flecks of silver in it. Such a cute plant. Okay, and then over here in my bathroom, I've got a Chinese evergreen. This is the Siam variety. It started as just a little tiny start, probably about this big. And it's grown that much and it's like constantly, always and constantly getting new leaves on it. And then up above that, on top of the shelf, all the way up there, I've got a pothos that's just in a bowl, a fishbowl of water. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and remember to plant on.